From the longest I can remember, I was in and out of foster care. 14 different homes and four group homes. Moving around so much like that, you start to lose your sense of belonging. You start to wonder, what is love? And will I ever be loved? Completely didn't know who I was. I knew my name, that's all I knew. I didn't know where I came from. I really didn't come from anywhere. If you want to know where I came from, that was CPS. That was Child Protective Services. That's all I could pretty much tell you. So I felt unloved coming here. I felt unloved. I felt unwanted. I felt I, I had nothing besides my daughter. I felt like I probably couldn't even give her anything because I was nothing. I had a very low self-concept of myself. My self-esteem was to the floor, and I prayed to God that He take me away from the situation I was in and put me in a new one. And because I don't know what to do no more, I lost all control of my life. Started going to the Y, and everything changed. Everything. And um, soon later, I opened up to my peers, and I started making friends, and things just started changing. Um, I became to change for the better. Um, the other kids would talk about college and stuff like that and but then I started to think like what else do I want do I want to do something else it, can I do something else am I capable of doing something else and I felt so much stronger um, in my job and even at home and my daily life it's because of the mentors I had it's because of the staff that were there it's because of the programs that were provided for me that I could go ahead and become the person I was meant to be not the person that society was trying to force on to me because when I came to the YMCA I was lost completely lost at a point that I didn't know who I was me I, mean, I always get so emotional and can never not get emotional and this is why it's the why for me it it feels good in here I am not that person no more. I'm not that closed down person. I'm not that shadow. I have a I have life to me now. Um, my self esteem came up. It's probably at skyrocket now. I probably they probably overdid it now. <laughs> I'm too confident now. <laughs> I I was a dying flower, I guess you can say. Now I'm one that's right awake and blossoming. This is my home. This is my first home, and it's not my only home now because. Thanks to the Y, I, I, made, I was able to create a home for my daughter, and I have the Y to thank for that.